Oh, reading is fun and math is great, but now it's time for art, art with Miss Kate. Buenos dias, artistas. Hello, artists. Thank you for the ever-evolving theme song. Today we're going to do one more fiber lesson, and then tomorrow we'll move on to something else. So, we saw a spinning demo, we saw a plying demo, we saw how to finger knit with one finger, two fingers, and four fingers. Today we're going to work on friendship bracelets. Okay? I have several finished examples to show you. And I'm going to start with one that I call, well that is called, it's not my name, the zipper. This guy right here. This guy right here. And you need two pieces of yarn or string or friendship bracelet embroidery floss. I wanted to teach this unit, but I didn't have the proper string or friendship embroidery floss at home. And then I thought, why not use yarn? I mean, our whole art at home unit is really about using what we have to still be creative, right? And to problem solve. So you need two pieces of yarn or string or friendship bracelet floss, whatever you have, that are about the same thickness. Then you want them to be about as long as from your far shoulder to the bottom of your hand. You can always have it too long. You can't deal with it when it's too short. So err on the side of a little too much. Then I tied a standard knot. Okay? So I'm going to move these so that it's right in front of me. I'm going to show you two friendship bracelets today, but then I'm going to attach a link to this YouTube lesson where you can see more if you want to. I don't want to show you 12 in a row because it just gets confusing. I tape above the knot. If you tape below the knot, there's going to be a space on your bracelet where there's no knots. Okay? Now, what you're going to do is make a backwards four. Put this through and pull, and this is actually a simple knot. Then you make another four, pull it through, and you do it this way again. And what I'm doing is pulling this through that hole, okay? And if I'm going too fast, stop and slow this down as slow as you need it to be so that you're not confused and if you're wondering why I don't just tie the knots this way it gives a smoother finish if you do it the way I'm showing you but it is a standard knot it's not a slip knot it's not a square knot there's nothing fancy about it I'm just doing it the way that I know will yield a smooth result because I've taught friendship bracelets for many years. The one thing about the yarn that's cool is it's thicker than a friendship bracelet floss or embroidery floss or string so it does go faster so that part's kind of neat but the embroidery floss is really beautiful I just don't have any. So I am problem solving and doing what I can at home with the materials that I have. And this is just when you're when you get it as long as you need it, you're done. It could be a belt, could be a bracelet. If you want to make it long, it could be a necklace, could be a headband, it could be whatever you want it to be. So here is as far as I've gotten, here is a finished one that I did earlier in the day before we started filming. Because I don't like my lessons to be too long. So it's a white yarn and then a multicolored yarn of the same thickness. Okay? When you get to the end, you can use this to tie it around your wrist. And if you have extra and it's too long, I have pretty small wrists. Mine got a little bit long by accident. But if it gets too long, after you're done using this to tie, you can cut off the fringes. You don't have to leave them like that. Okay? And you might need the help of someone else to tie it. So that's the zipper. I'm not going to finish this, but you would do the same exact thing. 
Backwards four, frontwards four, backwards four, frontwards four, till it's as long as you want. Now I want to show you, it's called the candy stripe. And these may have more than one name. I'm not sure. This is the name I learned for it here and here. And you can make this with as many different colors of yarn or string or embroidery floss as you want. If you do six or eight, your bracelet will be wider. If you do three or four, it will be narrower. For the purpose of this demonstration, so that our demo doesn't get too long, I'm only going to use three colors. And again, since I'm not using actual embroidery floss for friendship bracelets and I'm using yarn, which comes in different widths, I am going to pick three yarns that are about the same width. It's not wrong if they're not the same width. It's just that your, your bracelet won't be as smooth, that's all. There'll be one area that's bigger with a certain type of yarn. Your knot will be thicker. Then I'm going to tie that same loop here. okay? And again, I'm going to put the tape above the knot so that I don't have a space below the knot where there's no knotting. And I would encourage you to try the zipper first and then move on to this one. It's a little more challenging, not a lot, but a little. So, the purpose of this exercise is to take this yarn on the far, far right and by tying knots, move it over to the far left. And then it will be the green one's turn to get moved over and then the orange one's turn to get moved over. So I'm going to do the backwards four. And I'm going to do one and two and three and four. Now if you want to do two knots instead of four, you may. If you want to do one, you may. I wouldn't do more than six. I've tried it. You end up getting a big gap on your next string or yarn. But again, you're the artist. If you want to try six, go for it, especially if you have the actual friendship embroidery floss which is thinner it might work it doesn't with yarn I tried it but here's my third knot my fourth knot it doesn't matter how many knots you do but you have to be consistent if you do four with the first one you've got to do four all the way through if you do one you got to do one all the way through that's the key I have a whole book on friendship bracelets. Um, there are literally hundreds of designs. I just picked two that I thought were good for starting. The zipper is very good for starting, and this one is very good for your second attempt. We do this in the art room all the time. We'll try something, and then we try something similar that's a little bit harder. And then we try something similar that's a little bit harder. That's called scaffolding, and it's a really helpful way to learn new skills. Instead of trying to learn the hardest thing first, you learn the easiest thing first, and then the next easiest thing, and then the next easiest thing, and pretty soon you're doing something really, really hard. Now I'm going to do four knots on the green, and you can see that the yarn that used to be on the right is now slowly, by knots, by the process of knotting, moving over to the left. That's literally all you do for this candy cane bracelet. Move from the right to the left. And if you're left-handed, you might prefer to work from left to right. That's fine, too. The point is you have to do it the same way. You have to be consistent. And when you keep going, you're going to start to see a pattern. You're going to see some stripes. And the stripes are going to be the same. The brownish yarn, the green yarn, the orange yarn. Brown, green, orange, brown, green, orange, brown, green, orange. Until your bracelet is the length you need it to be. Some kids, if you have a hard time keeping track of your number of knots, 
You can have a little piece of paper and make a mark every time you have a knot. So I'm doing four. When I got to my fourth mark, then I would know, hey, it's time for my green. So here you can start to see the pattern emerging. Here's one. And here's one where I have brown, orange, green, brown, orange, green, same three colors, brown, orange, green. So this is what this is what this will look like when it's done. It's just that this green is a variegated green yarn. And it goes from light to dark. So there you have the finished version. Okay, my friends, I hope you enjoy this. Tomorrow we'll leave our fiber unit for a while. We might come back to it later. But tomorrow we're going to try something new with recycled building. I miss you all. Enjoy.